back to the community, everybody, and thanks for being part of it. I truly appreciate it. If you can, even a small donation if possible, go down in the description, click the donation link. It helps keep the channel going a lot. And there's t-shirts and stickers. But a new surprise, here's what's coming out soon. Yes, a new t-shirt and new stickers. So you'll have two to choose from, a member sticker or one of these cool stickers. Uh, my wife designed it and she did a really great job. It should be about a week, week and a half, and those will be down in the description when you go to the store also. All that little stuff does help out. Also, I know I give a lot of information all the time. Remember, I created a playlist. When you get to the YouTube community channel, scroll over to playlist and then scroll down and you will see a whole index and categories of videos that I have done to simplify finding what you need instead of scrolling through all of the videos. And that simplifies how you can find what you need to, okay? Instead of trying to scroll through the whole channel, all right? What are we doing today? Today, we're gonna do an oil pump installation. So first, I'm gonna show how to remove it, what bolts to loosen besides the oil pump itself, and also how to remove it, reinstall it, you know the deal. And of course, tips and tricks, you know, along the way while we're doing this. Uh, we ran into a jam, so I'm doing smaller stuff in this motor, and then I got to get back on my 68. Uh, the pistons didn't work out, so he's going to use the stock ones that were in it already. We checked them, re-ringed, they're good. Uh, but the heads, he's trying to use the original heads now. So now I got to wait until he is able to get the broken bolts extracted out of it, the studs. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and get this done. Uh, he should have that done in about a week so we can start reassembling this engine and get it done. Uh, that's about it. Let's get rolling and let's get this procedure done next. So what had happened is he cleaned the front of the engine block up and he pulled these four nuts, okay? So technically the oil pump cover was already broken loose and I don't like that, uh, especially if I'm doing the job, I want it sealed up. Uh, the little orange, they're kind of a silicon smash washer. That's what I call them. He kind of broke those loose and ripped them. So uh, this is why he was cleaning the block up. So I'm going to pull the plate off, pour the oil pump out. I'll put it out there. Oil pump? Like it, huh? I can say oil pump. We're going to go ahead and put new gaskets on. I'm going to show you what to prime it with properly instead of just grease or something. Uh, so let's get on this and we'll do the torque procedure, show you how to line everything up. It's going to be fun. <laughs> okay, let's All do right, it. so some things you're going to need. All right, brake clean or carb cleaner, whatever you choose to clean the surface off. A torque wrench. I have quite a few different ones. Permatex aviation sealer, if you choose to use this. You'll see what I do with the silicon high copper. Don't freak out. It's not what you think. Oil pump puller, they're about 10 bucks or something. Sometimes you can get away without using those. Scraper, ratchet, 13 millimeter socket. I almost forgot, 13 millimeter wrench. And some Vaseline that I stole from the house. I put it in this container. I didn't want to take the whole thing. And you'll see what I do with that. No smart remarks. And a couple rags. All right, let's go. All right, first thing is first. I gotta get you up close and personal here. You should be able to see pretty well. Okay, let's loosen these up the 13 millimeters. I kind of do it evenly at first. Okay, I left my ratchet down the house. My son gave me a really nice. Okay, make sure you drop the first nut. My son gave me a really nice Milwaukee. Uh, battery powered ratchet a little while back here and I left it down the house because I was working down there so I'll show you something with this nut in a minute just so you know all right I'll speed up I know don't want to hear me talk I, I get it plain outright ignorance Okay, now, 
what you're going to see here is what I was sh talking about earlier and showed it to you. See that? That's that little crush. You can't call it a crush washer because it's almost like rubber. Oop, there you are. Sorry. So we're going to do something instead because he didn't buy new ones. Okay. He had that, the orange part shoved in there and it actually did not want to come out. So But, okay, so we got a wire wheel, clean this up. I want to do something a minute here. Oh, there's no dots on these. Okay, so what we're going to do next is we are going to loosen some bolts up. We're going to loosen up this one and this one, and if we have to, this one. And that will loosen it up and take the pressure off so we can pull the oil pump out. But first, I'm going to do something I'll show you. First, I would like to spray a little around the seam and just clean it up a little bit. I don't want too much crap getting inside this engine. So just, you know, if you're just doing this job itself, clean it up a little bit around here and then wipe it off. Got to protect my lens. Give me a second one. I didn't want that splashing back. Brake clean. On the lens probably wouldn't be a real good idea. So, okay. We got that cleaned up there. Okay. So, what we're going to do we're now. to pull the gear out. Come on. There we go. Okay. Pull the gear out. That one goes in. And seats in the dish. Of the camshaft like you see here okay and then we're gonna pull the other one out it's just a little gear that's hollow okay keep the front facing front just how you took it out just in case what we are going to do next is loosen this bolt up so you'll need a 13 millimeter wrench and a 13 millimeter socket okay and then we are going to also Loosen this up, okay? Because we want to relieve a little bit of pressure on the block. You'll see this split in the case there, and we'll loosen this as necessary. So let's do that next. Do it this way. Okay. Now you remember when you do this, you have to torque it properly because that's the engine case halves. And we're going to move up to here. That's the way it is. Okay, and I am going to loosen this just a hair. Okay, and now we are going to see, I don't think it's going to pull out that easy. Let's get our tool. Now you have little holes inside of here, and that's where this will go. So you're going to fit it into the hole. Here, I'm getting in your way, aren't I? Let me tighten it up. And then I'm going to show you what's going on here so that you know. Give me one second. Oh. Okay, come here. As you can see, the tool goes into a hole on each side. It's hard to see that. And then it goes flush against the block. Okay. Okay. So we're going to do this very slowly. Don't act like an animal. See, it's starting to separate. Okay. And remember, if you don't have these bolts loosened, you're holding pressure against it. So you don't want to do that. Only on film. Okay. So you're going to turn it gently. Don't force it. Just move real slow. You shouldn't be in a rush. I'm trying to watch what I'm doing through the camera, which don't make it easy. But I want you up close. And then when, once we get to the workbench, I'll show you the tool much better. It's not expensive. And I did have a question. I'll ask you in a second here. It may help everybody. Okay. And... We're almost there, and there it came out. Let's go over to the workbench, and I'm gonna show you something. Now, what I was talking about is when I said you put them stem 
into the holes. Inside the oil pump you will see a hole on each side and that's what that goes into. Then it sits against it sits against your engine block and you're pulling it out without breaking anything. When it comes to this gear and you see the slice in it, you already know where I'm going with this. It fits into that part of the cam. Somehow I lost some audio here. So I'll just do a quick narration and then speed it up. I show using triple O or quad O steel wool. Don't use anything harsher or more coarse than that. And what I'm doing now is cleaning up where the oil pump slides into and of course cleaning off the face of the block where it seats with the gasket. Just remember don't use anything harsh. What you see me scrubbing right now, I use Quad O. It's much smoother and it won't hurt the aluminum magnesium. Okay, I'll speed it up now. Alright, a little education, which most of you probably know, but maybe some of you don't. The kit comes with four oil pump gaskets, alright? Now, as you can see immediately, let's line these up a little here. Look at the size of these holes, okay? And then look at the size of these ones. I know, everything's moving around here. See how they're larger? Okay, so we have the larger ones. So you're going to take this one and go to the engine first, and I'm going to show you, and then this one next. See the holes in it? Look at the oil pump housing. See this groove around there? Okay. And as you can see, it's probably hard to tell in the original gaskets. There's the holes. Okay. And them holes let oil back through. So we'll go over that while we're putting it together. All right. And something kind of cool here. <laughs> Check this out. I'm weird. Look at the VW logos. That's the original oil pump gasket from 74 from the dealer, I suppose, that was put on. So, okay, let me uh, go ahead. I'm going to clean this up real nice. I'll be back in a second. Let's make it right. Be right back. So, we have this all cleaned up. I cleaned the back of the housing. Everything very, very nice. This groove is where oil can go through. So, make sure. See how there's a little opening there? Right there. Okay. Make sure that groove and channel is cleaned out really, really good. That's important. So what I like to do next is put the gears in and spin them to make sure everything is okay. So we are going to put one gear in. Put the other one in. Come on, get in the hole. There we go. Uh, your aftermarket gears have dots on them to show you to face out. These factory ones didn't. But I like to spin... So it's nice and smooth. Make sure everything, don't put grease in them yet or nothing. Make sure everything's spinning okay. All right, this is actually the way it'll spin. And that's nice and smooth. Okay, let's prep to get this put together now with the proper torque procedure and priming it. And we have all of our surface very clean and we did the inside all the way around. Uh, quad O steel wool, don't go any heavier than that. You don't want to scratch the housing up. We have Permatex Aviation Forma Gasket Sealant Liquid, part number 80019. That's what I'm going to use to get the gasket to the block. And I'll spill it everywhere because I always do. Okay, let me put this on. Wait, I don't like the way that is right there. Try again. Now you don't you have to use a bunch of this, okay? You just want a little skim coat just to seal it up. If you feel more comfortable just using the paper gasket, by all means, just do that. 
whatever you think. I'm probably getting in your way anyhow. <clears throat> we'll wipe off the excess if we get it anywhere. Give me one second. Always wipe it off in the inside around there, okay? Because you don't want it going on the housing where you're trying to slide it in. Okay, put this one on first, the one without the little holes in it, okay? There's a difference. We'll go over it one more time. Okay, these gaskets are very delicate, so don't rip them. Okay, let that set up just slightly so it don't move around on you. We are going to shake this up this time. I think that was my problem. We are going to give a light smear. Now, I like to always wipe off a little bit of the excess, just because. No specific reason. Nobody's going to see it but you. But it makes me feel better. Okay. Double check the inside lip. There we go. All righty. Let's get our housing. Wait a minute. I forgot something. Wipe off the threads because you won't get the proper torque value. You're now going to slide this on. Now make sure you're lined up with the camshaft. Okay. So next what we got to do is put the next gasket on. Now remember what I said about this groove, because the foil comes up through there it goes through the holes in the gasket and through that little gouged opening, little valley, and back in. So next we're going to do that. Now this gets a little tricky here. What I want to do is I want to put some gasket adhesive around the outside. You don't want it getting in that groove. I know. I repeated it like 20 times now. Okay. And I say okay a lot. see here and I'm gonna wipe it off you'll see what I do if I get any in there which I did just now I'm just slamming it on now because I'm gonna wipe it off I'm just trying to prevent leaks leaks really stink you know they're not fun I know everybody says they mark their spot but try to keep it to a minimum if you do use any type of adhesive like I did, don't use thick silicon, okay? Use the aviation sealer. It's more of a tack coat sealer. And make sure you don't leave any inside that groove that I explained in case the oil needs to flow back. <sighs> so now we are going to put the gasket on, okay? Gently, gently. Don't get crazy doing this, okay? You don't want to rip it. Okay, see how them holes line up with that valley? Should make sense now. Okay, alrighty. Let me grab the gears. I'll be right back. Now, this is up to you if you do this side of it, okay? I'm going to. However, don't cover those holes. Okay, I'm just doing a little bit, see, just around the outside. Okay, don't cover the, yeah, holes. our gasket cement, I should say sealant, aviation sealer, around the outside. 
that don't cover the holes, okay? So what I'm going to do next, I'm going to put some Vaseline on these so that we can utilize it for priming, okay? Make sure everything's still spinning very smooth. Okay, let me pull this one back off. So why am I using Vaseline? I know some of you are going, what? But I'm using Vaseline. You want to cause a vacuum to get the oil primed, okay? So I use Vaseline because after doing some research, the Vaseline, and I'm, I'm doing the gear while I'm talking to you, the Vaseline will disintegrate very quickly as soon as the motor warms up and it vanishes, just like a magic act. Okay, so let's get this in there. There we go. Okay, we'll wipe it off when we're done. No, don't panic. Make sure it's seated in the cam. Okay. You're not going to hurt anything with it, that's for sure. As soon as it gets the slightest heat, it's going to disintegrate. Now, make sure you wipe off the excess. You don't want it not sealing. See, I bumped the gasket. It's okay, there we go. We have cleaned this thoroughly. It may not look it, but it is smooth as a baby's butt. Okay, we are going to put our plate on. Now here's what else we have to do. He opted out on buying the nuts with the seals, although I don't believe he really knew. So we're going to make sure this seal, since we don't have the nuts with the orange seals on them like you see here. So here's what we do. I'm going to use the Ultra Copper. It's maximum temperature in case it gets really hot. Okay, and oh, let me clean the tip. Now here is your plate, okay, as you already know. These nuts, the seals went down in that cavity, okay, but we don't have those. And I'm not buying them for them. So, we're going to go ahead, come on, there we go, okay, and just put it, I'm trying not to get in front of you here and it's not easy, I'm going to put a little bit around here, right where the nut seats, okay, and then of course there's my neighbor's dog barking. I fill it with a little bit of silicon. Would I do this for my motor? No. So if I'm doing a motor for you, you're buying these nuts. But I'm... Okay, let me do the other two. I'll be right back. So we are going to put our plate on. All right, let's get our nuts. Remember, we'll wipe this off after we get them tightened. A little messy, a little messy. That's why I like using the nuts with a squish washer, I call it. I don't like the way that one felt. Come on. My hands are too slippery now. I know, I'm in front of you. Give me a second. Well, I just had to take out a little while here and I cleaned the threads up on the nuts and studs. 
I don't know why they were giving me a problem. But now they're all right. Okay. Now don't go crazy tightening these up. We got to torque them to spec. Okay. I hate that I had to use this silicone all around there. I guess you guys know by my last video with this on my other motor, I don't do stuff like that. But okay, so let me. I want to wipe this off a little bit here. Like I said, the pulley's in front of it. This is not some custom motor built for a show. He just wants it to run good and not leak. Do your own research, research on torque. I got it set to 14 foot pound. Do this one. Okay, this one. All right, and this one. Okay, double check. Triple check. Okay. Now, remember, we got to button these bolts back up too. So let me get my wrench. These are 14 pounds. Let me spit the, spin the nut a little tight here. It won't be turning forever. Okay. Come on, get on there. All right. Okay, and tighten this one up a little bit. Now you'll be tightening the pressure back up around the oil pump. Okay, one more. Don't forget to do this or you're going to have issues. Okay. I'm probably going to go around this whole motor and actually see that. I don't know if I'm in camera view. Am I? I'm going to re torque this whole motor. Can't hurt. Okay. Let's go over a couple things. So, a little revamp. Okay. You should use the nuts with the seals built into them, okay? He didn't have them, so I compensated for it. I should say improvised. I used the high temp gasket sealer, okay, and put it at the end of the nuts. I hope it seals. It's beyond my control. Uh, I use the aviation Permatex. Don't cover them little holes in the gaskets, okay? You don't want to do that. You need the, the oil to circulate through that valley when it needs to. Uh, buy a puller if need be. You don't want to stick a screwdriver in between her and try to pry the pump out. So you do want to buy a puller. They're cheap. I was thinking about doing a VW specialty tools video. If you want to see it, maybe I'll have Heather help me with that one. Uh, let me know. Leave it in the comments below and I'll do VW specialty tools video. But back on this, Make sure you torque these nuts properly. Everything's cleaned up. Use Vaseline, or I'm sure you can use a high-end product to prime, you know, so that it gets that vacuum pull it needs to get the oil started. And then Vaseline will go ahead uh, and disintegrate, basically, dissolve with the heat. Uh, don't forget to torque your nuts back up on the case, okay? So that was your oil pump removal and oil pump installation video. I hope it made sense. Uh, it's not a hard job to do. You just got to be careful removing it. That's your main thing. And be careful where you put the sealer at. Or just use the paper gaskets without it, but I don't like to. Okay, thanks for being here. And next week, I believe we're going to be doing the rear main seal, is what I call it. Flywheel main seal, crankshaft main seal, whatever you want to call it. And the flywheel installation all together. Uh, because I'm waiting on him to get the heads ready. So let's get on it and keep rolling. Everybody have a great weekend.